Okay, welcome to the show. Hey Rob, thanks. thanks. It's nice to be here. Thanks for doing this, Steve. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pretty uh, funky way to do it here at this event. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, we have a, a car that's been generously donated by um, Barry Cullen. Barry Cullen, yeah, and we had a hard time getting it into the uh, <laughs> into the hotel, but here it is. Here we are. I guess we had to do a 10-point turn to get it here. But yeah, it's here like it an Austin Powers movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, no, seriously, I really appreciate you being the first one to do this. Um, so just to give us a, a little bit of context, so Steve Howard, you're the CEO of Habitat, and it's Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph, or Guelph? Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph. Wellington, yeah. Dufferin, Guelph. So yeah. we serve Wellington and Dufferin counties. Yeah. Uh, we started here in Guelph, and that's why we have the name Guelph on it as well. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're at the Habitat house party, ultimate house party. The ultimate house party, yeah. Um, so just give us a quick little rundown on what this event's all about. So this is our major fundraiser, and it's also a connection point with us and uh, our partners and our volunteers, and um, it's kind of the highlight of the year for us as a group. So um, tonight we'll have many sponsors here, and we'll have uh, about 340 guests. We're sold out. Yeah, uh, it's Really packed. happy with the response, and um, the whole evening unfolds in kind of an interesting way. We have an auction, and really great auctionista and, and I think I'm doing an interview with her in a minute yeah yeah she's a great lady you'll like her she's got really excellent energy cool yeah so how did you become the CEO of this awesome uh, organization well I stepped into it on an interim basis um, when they were going through a change in leadership and I my wife was on the uh, board and they identified that they needed somebody to fill in so 2013, I filled in and I um, caught what they call habititis, uh, and uh, I kind of got hooked. <laughs> Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. It's, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not contagious. Uh, and, it might be a little bit. Well, yeah, it is actually. And um, once you get that spirit, you sort of stay with it. And so, um, yeah, in the end of 2014, I made a commitment to staying on and cool. um, been enjoying it ever since. So, why is Habitat so close to your heart? Um, I think for a lot of us, it's, you know, what we grew up with, what we know, what we've experienced in the way of poverty, and how we understand that housing makes a difference. And if you have that safe, secure environment, then you can create a positive story. And so, you know, I'm one of the lucky ones that was able to, um, as my life evolved, to see me move from transient homes into more permanent homes. And, and in that, I realized the value of a safe and secure place and a and a sanctuary that I could return to as an individual and sort of develop myself and see myself as the equal of my peers. And I think a lot of the people that are involved in Habitat understand that, you know, that that future story um, is the thing that, that benefits uh, not just individuals, but in, in benefits the community as a whole. So, yeah, big time. So um, personal identification and an opportunity to make a difference. Cool, man. So... Um one of the questions I've been asked to ask everybody, everybody, okay. is what makes a house home? I think what for, makes from your perspective, what makes a house a, a home is ownership, um, and and I don't mean just you know technical ownership. I mean it's when it's you I you identify that as your place to return to, where you can recharge or feel safe or um, just rest and retreat from the world. That's what makes it a home, and then. Beyond that, if it's a place where you can gather others and, um, you know, whether it's family or supporters or friends, if, if you've got that place where you can invite somebody in and say, please come to my place, yeah. um, then that is a boost to self-esteem and um, self-worth. And just builds relationships and connect. And builds meet. relationships. Absolutely right. Yeah. And I mean, that's, I mean, as humans, that we're like, we're social beings. And so the, I totally agree with that idea that home is a place to feel secure and safe in the crazy world that we live in. Uh, but then to take it to the next level to, to bring people together, I think that's a huge part. And it's so interesting too how that's like the microcosm of community. Yeah. Bringing people together. We use the word family and when we talk about families, we don't just mean, you know, the two parents and, and X number of kids. What we mean is family is a gathering of people that is self-supportive and um, they rely on each other and they help each other and um, that's the opportunity that home creates. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this. Good. My pleasure. Here's Lane. Okay, Steve. Thanks so much. I'm going to give you a handshake and I'm going to let you hey, out Lane, here. you're on. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rob.